to a CVP portal. So once your EAD has been approved, the USCIS will be sending you an email that you have been registered while filling the form I-765. So it's going to send you an email with a link. So you need to go to the email and uh, click on the link for creating your SCVP account. And if you, if the in case, if the uh, link that USCIS has been provided has been expired, it's going to be expired within 15 days. So you have to make an account, uh, account uh, before that. So in case if the link has expired, then you should reach out to your DS4 and then they're going to generate an, another link from their side or they're going to create the SCVP portal from their side and they're going to give you the credentials, whatever, the vice versa. Once you create the SCVP portal, make sure you enter your employment employer name, address, job title, description, and the start. Date. So you need to enter these details within the period of 13 days. So within the 13, within the 13 days period, you need to enter these details as soon as you start your employment. Again, I'm repeating like either maybe a part-time, full-time, externship, internship, whatever it may be. And make sure you keep it updated. Like every job change must be reported to the SCVP portal. And whenever you change your address, try to update it as well in the SCVP portal as well as the USCS portal. Because now they have made their strict rules. So as soon as you change your address or as soon as you move to a new place, you need to report the address within a seven days period or within, I think like 10 days period of time, you need to report the address along with your employment details as well. Let's go.